what is up home slices good to see you all again friends this is my official intro even though i've already technically started the video but yeah so you can probably see by the title of this video that i am going vegan today not a vegan i'm not a vegetarian i'm a uh, just I just eat food but I will say I don't normally eat a lot of meat like I don't love meat I'm not a huge meat gal <laughs> oh, that sounded weird on a day-to-day -day basis there's a lot of days where I go vegetarian just kind of on accident like I just don't eat a lot of meat and I'm trying to cut out dairy anyway because I'm kind of self-diagnosed lactose intolerant I know there's a lot of people especially when you get older I have a lot of theories behind this but I think that a lot of people stop eating a lot of dairy because it just doesn't make them feel good and I am one of those people, hi. So because I don't, I'm trying to cut out dairy and I don't eat a lot of meat, I'm like, vegan. I've never actually like, I've, I've been vegan like days before on accident like I said, but today I'm intentionally being vegan. Keep as close as possible to my regular eating habits. So like, for example, this morning I recorded a bit of this, but I went to Starbucks and that's something, like I normally get coffee um, anyway, so I was just trying to stick to my regular routine. Hey guys, so this is me walking from my 8 a.m. to Starbucks. So here's a little montage. I just got coconut milk, which is what I actually pretty much do all the time. Another thing you could do is you could get tea. I mean, you could get something without milk. Like, you could just get black coffee. You could get an Americano. So I got a peppermint mocha, which is something I frequently get because I love mint and chocolate. So bada bing, bada boom. Peppermint mocha is my drink, not spons. Got an iced peppermint mocha, like normal, but I got it with coconut milk, which is actually pretty normal for me. And I will say, I'm not a big almond milk person. I've always wanted to like stop getting whole milk in my drinks just because it makes me feel weird when I have that. So I got almond milk for a while and I don't like it. And so I was like, well, I'll try coconut milk and I love coconut milk. If you like have a sweet tooth like me, it's a super good alternative. So that is how I made my morning coffee vegan and also shameless plug get a reusable cup i think three dollars if you go to starbucks often it's incredibly worth it i think you get you get a small discount which is cool but also like if i go to starbucks even once a week that's 52 plastic cups in a year that i'm saving and i go more than once a week so and the other fun fact about the reusable cup this is a venti size like the size of the actual cup is a venti which is like pretty much the largest size people typically get at Starbucks. If you order a grande, um, a lot of times they they like make a tad extra and when it's a grande cup, they just fill it to the top and then whatever, probably throw away the excess or drink it, I don't know. But since this is a venti cup, they just, like I've gotten so many times where I've ordered a grande and pretty much gotten this filled or like more than a grande size. So you get a little bit more bang for your butt. That's sort of my breakfast, so it's about 11.30, and yeah, I'm gonna go to the gym, and then I'll come back with some vegan lunch. So, peace out. Hey guys, what's up, Just your local tomato? It's like 12.45, I went to the gym, I ran way more than I was expecting. I seriously think it's because I was listening to Tame Impala and I just was listening to the album Currents and time got away from me and I looked down and I was like, dang, I'm really sweaty. I need to stop. <laughs> I'm literally so obsessed with Tame Impala right now. I really want to see them all up close the summer, but we'll see. My hashtag vegan vibes. 
this little bad boy. She's a cute one. Like I said, I'm trying to keep it as close to my regular like eating pattern as possible. And I do love a good Jamba Juice. And usually I get like a peanut butter, banana, protein, chocolate situation and it's literally delicious. But that bad boy has milk in it. And so that was a big no today. It's like looking at my Jamba Juice menu, which yes, I have one in my room at all times. And they have um, smoothies that are like all fruit and either fruit and veggies or all fruit. Uh, a strawberry whirl smoothie, that's what this is. And I, it's good, it's strawberry, banana, strawberries, bananas, and apple strawberry juice. To the point, if you will, a lot, there's a lot of good ones. I was gonna get this like mega mango one. Oh, I'm just, it's so hard because I don't like mango, but I think the yellow ones are so pretty and they look so good, but I don't love the flavor, so. <sighs> stupid, stupid aesthetic lady here, me. Uh, yep, but, okay, yeah. So don't come at me, I know I was all like, reusable cup vibes and now I'm like, plastic vibes. I'm really sorry, everyone. Um, I will say, and this is normal for me, I don't eat like big meals um, for the most part. I'm a big liquid gal. I love a drinkable meal. I try to do intermittent fasting, um, not super on purpose. It's just kind of something that happens a lot to eat between the hours of like 11 a.m. and like 8 p.m., which I feel like a lot of people just do anyway. I'm rambling. I don't like go hours and hours without eating, but I don't eat big meals. I kind of just snack throughout the day. So maybe I'll do an actual what I eat in the day. It's just hard because like every semester it's different for me. Lunch part two slash snack. Aren't they so beautiful? 220, just to give you a time update. I just popped these bad boys in the toaster. This bread is the best bread ever. Look at all the seeds. If I don't have this, a lot of times I have bagels. And then I'm probably gonna go outside and find a place to do homework because it's really nice out. Five p.m. Snack time. Ooh, golden hour. Sounded so much. Oh my gosh, am I trendy yet? This helps a lot. Outside, did a bit of homework. Sometimes I call homework HW, and then I call it like HW Bush, like George HW Bush. Anyway, um, had a bit of a creamy peanut butter snack. <laughs> now it is time for dinner. It is 5.58, so almost 6 p.m. And I need that sweet, sweet sustenance. Come on guys, let's go to the kitchen. Come on. Come on. Is um, intended sort of to be um, boiled on the stove, but I just like to live a simple life. And so I'm gonna go ahead and microwave these. I, I know what you're thinking. That's so stupid. Um, yeah. I've microwaved these before. It's not my first rodeo. Yee, yee. Um, I'm gonna microwave these. Hope for the best. And I'll check back with you. Alright, there she is. Um, to confirm, this took about four and a half minutes. So. <laughs> It is the next day after my whole vegan escapade that I filmed yesterday and I didn't get a chance to really talk much about my dinner slash do an outro so that's what I'm doing right now. So yeah just to conclude my supper with the plain pasta and the tomato sauce. Yeah I added some tomato sauce vegan friendly so that was good and very similar to what i normally eat so i would call that a success so i guess overall as the conclusion it was um only one day obviously i can honestly say it, it wasn't so bad um and it's not super different than what i normally eat 
However, I personally don't think vegan, um, veganism, if you will, is necessarily great for me and my health and my body and whatnot. And I'd have to try it out for longer than a day and look into it a lot more before I can really clearly say one way or the other. But I just know that like I love carbs and I love sugar. I love sugar. I have kind of an unhealthy addiction to sugar that I'm really trying to nix. Um, I know that like I didn't eat a lot of veggies yesterday, which is something that vegans eat a lot of. I don't have a lot of fruits and veggies just because of like my living situation. I'm moving out in a week. So like I haven't gone produce shopping and stuff. So it's like a weird situation. And so um, yeah, it's hard for me to tell exactly like how it affected me. Um, but overall it was fine. I just don't know if I'm ready to like jump into veganism. Just an interesting little experiment that I did and I hope you guys all enjoyed. You should subscribe if you feel like it. And thank you for watching. Have a great week. Bye.